Hello everyone and welcome to the Frappe webinar. I am Palkan from the marketing team and today we have Safiya Sudhari with us who will show us all about Frappe Insight. So before we move ahead, uh, let me tell you a bit about Safiya and how we got Frappe Insights. So Safiya has been uh, at Frappe since three years now, firefighting issues. He's the lead engineer currently. And last year, last December, he was itching to work on something more fun and challenging. And that's when he started working on a side project, which was to improve the current report builder of the Frappe framework. So when he went ahead and had a discussion with Rushab, as always, Rushab came up with a lot of ideas for new products. And uh, one of the ideas which interested Sakit particularly was the BI tool. Uh, and that's how we have Papa Insights today. Uh, and over to Sankirtan. Mm, hello, everyone. Thanks for the introduction, Palkan. Uh, hello. Thanks for joining uh, this webinar. Uh, I was overwhelmed by seeing how many uh, registrations we had. Mm. So, yeah. So, I was... I. I wanted to switch to a new, uh, wanted to develop a new product, switching from ERP next. Uh, so BI tool was a good, seemed a good option because uh, major majority of our customers are using, uh, like all of our customers are using ERP next. So, and there is a very dire need for uh, an analysis tool, which can seamlessly integrate with ERP next. So that's how, uh, uh, Frappe Insights came to be. So let me share my screen and I will start the presentation. Uh, okay, can you see the keynote? Okay. Uh, yes. There is this. Um, this can stay. Uh, yeah, I we go got over the introductions. So let me begin with the outline of this presentation. Uh, I will directly start with the live, live demo explaining all the uh, terminal logics, features, like be, building basic, re, basic reports. I will give you an overview of the data, existing data. Uh, then after the demo, I will summarize the features and go over the uh, extra features that we have. Like I, I won't be able to cover everything, but then we will uh, go over the setting up process for self-hosted and uh, ERP next users. Then I will share our experience using Frappe Insights and future plans and then question answers. So let's start with the live demo. Uh, let me switch to my insights instance so should i hide this okay so this is frappe insights once you go over all the setup and installation process you will see this screen here you will have a list of dashboards uh once you install you won't have any because you haven't created so dashboards uh are a list of charts Basically, I think all of you must be familiar with dashboards. Uh, so in insights, there is a concept of, uh, there is a uh, thing called data sources. And here you have a bunch of databases. So basically these are, you can consider them as sites. Uh, as you can see, I have connected my ERP next instance called bold by ERP next.com. Then there is a demo data. This is just uh, you get after um, installation. Uh, and then there are, there are several others, but you don't need to know them right now. Uh, so data sources, yeah, they, uh, you can connect as many as you want. Uh, right now, only MariaDB and... Uh, so these are some technical stuff, but MariaDB is the database used by ERP Next. So you can connect any ERP Next instance with this in our Frappe IO insights instance, we have like seven or eight uh, sites connected. 
using external sources. So yeah, uh, continuing with the demo. So I have an ERP Next instance called Bold Bikes, erpnext.com. Uh, so this site has, uh, so this, so this company produces, uh, manufactures uh, bikes. Uh, uh, and uh, so there are categories, like you have these many categories, uh, racing bikes, etc. cetera. Uh, and the products are, uh, have some item codes and which is then linked to sales orders, like sales orders are created and then sold by some partner IDs. So there is a lot of analysis that can be done using this data. So data source here, you can come and browse through what you have. I'm just showing like, uh, if you anytime get confused, like what data I have, you can come here and explore. So I will move on to queries. So queries are, uh, a way to answer your questions or do analysis on your data. So um, let's let me give you an example. Like the data we saw just now, there are sales orders. So uh, simple query, simple analysis you can do is check uh, month wise how much uh, sales are you doing, right? So I will try to answer that question using a query and then. So to create a qu query, you will select a data source. You have a bunch of them, uh, as many as you have connected. Then tables. So these tables are uh, something similar to doc types. So every doc type has a table in the database. So those are uh, those you will be getting here if you have connected your your next instance. So I will for this I will select sales orders and then give it a title: total sales by month. Uh, so this is the query builder. Uh, there are three uh, horizontal panels and one vertical. If you execute this, you will just get all the data from the sales orders. This is the same you saw in the data sources list. So this table panels, it is kind of self-explanatory. You will get a list of tables. You can add more uh, tables here. Uh, you can join them. Uh, I will go through it in the later part. Uh, then columns and filters. So I will explain columns with the example. So the question we have is total sales by month. So I am interested in two columns. Somehow I have to get the month and sales is the gross amount. So let me add the column. So once you add a column, you see this screen. So uh, there is an ag aggregation type, but I will come to this later with an example. So for column, I will just select gross amount and add it, simple. Uh, and I also needed month, right? So for month, there is a created by at field, similar to uh, um, ERP next, you have posting date. So you can select some, uh, then date format is, kind of self-explanatory. If you select this, you will get this format. So I will select this uh, and just reorganize to have date first uh, and execute. So as you can see, now you have only two columns, uh, created add and cross amount. But this is um, in the form of day, like each date is a separate row. I want to combine all the January dates into one January row. So, so you use the aggregation type for it. So you edit the column, uh, go to aggregation type and just group by it and then set the label. Setting the label is important for now because you each column has to have unique label. And then you wanted to club them into month. So month date format update. Then if you execute this, you will have all these values clubbed. Uh, in cross amount, this is not showing correctly because we haven't added all the January cross amounts. So I will just perform a sum operation on this. This will be total sales. So sum of cross amount, which is called total sales update and you get this. So now you have month wise sales and you can check how much, but 
you can't uh, you don't have a very good visual representation so let's switch to visualize to create a chart on top of the data so here you have a bunch of options these are just six of them implemented right now uh, we will be having a lot more in future so for this line chart makes sense so i will select the line chart once you select you will get a lot of options um, for that chart only so uh, specific to that chart if you select pi there will be different options so dimension and measures these are like x and kind of x and y axis so this is the x you have to have uh, month wise total sales so you just select this and you get a auto generated chart you can enable these options to just see these enable the data points you have and you can also add a reference line so these are just some of the options we needed in our charts uh, the more you uh, the more we need or community needs they we will be adding more of them so this is a basic chart i will just save this okay so this completes our cycle uh there are other options like download you can download the chart and uh send it it, it will download into a png file and you can share it then add to dashboard just redirects you to a list of dashboard you can select a dashboard it will add the chart to that we will come to this later after creating one more query and then we will create a dashboard so yeah so this was a simple one uh let's uh create a complex query involving like all the features we have uh, it might be overwhelming but let's see so before we do that let me explain the structure again like the there is a category uh which has a lot of products for category and then we those are those products are linked to sales orders like sales order item just like erp next you have sales order items and then item code so that is the kind of structure we have so the query uh, the, the question i want to answer is i want to check if uh, uh, what is the performance of each category over month like uh, in january 2018 what uh, how did each category produce uh, performed like which was the top 3 performing categories category of products so in this query we will need to join a lot of tables uh, i think three so first we will start with sales orders so category wise uh sales over time mm -hmm. so sales orders i have selected this uh so next thing i need is the product like in this sales order what product is sold but we don't have that information that information is stored in sales order item so sales order contains a lot of sales order items so we will have to join them uh sql users might be familiar with this so you just uh, select the sales order items as this and you will get a uh, link between those so this sales order id is coming from this and sales order from this uh if you join and execute you will have the list of products here like you have no product quantity and cross amount but i need the category but category is in the product table so i will add this sales order items and then select the products first and then that way i can get category uh okay so if you have noticed uh if i have clicked once i click this button i only get these three options this is because to uh, uh prevent users from adding uh, in invalid tables like wrong tables they shouldn't be adding any other than what tables are here like you should only be able to join uh, whatever you have already selected so once you add a new uh, product you can join any other way products so there uh any other tables with this so now product so i have to get the category so category equals to category execute 
um, now select whatever you need first is uh, i need month so create a dot um, i can take this as month then i need uh, category category so the description is stored in short description column of product category text table so the last table we just selected uh, and then uh, i will select from a uh, gross amount so gross amount is from sales order and items but i want item wise is a gross amount so i will select the item gross amount if you execute you get these three but there are like multiple of them uh, so you want to group it and group by this so you will just group by give it a label month uh group by uh, not column short description uh category and then uh sum of all the digits just similar to what we have done in the previous uh, very sales so now you have a bunch of categories for this month and they are total but uh, this is a uh, now uh, if if you are aware of the pivot transform in excel this is a um, similar like, typical case for a pivot transformation so you can do it here as well uh, um, so just go to menu options and click pivot and select the column you want to pivot on or uh, I will select category in this case and then month and sales. So this what this will do is all the values of category will appear as a columns. So BMX and all these are here. So what this uh, now if you go on visualizing, you will now you can answer the question like which uh, category has the highest number of sales in Jan 18. If you plot them, you it will be a lot easier to so line chart again or let's take our chart i don't uh month and dimension and then all these categories it, it doesn't look good so you can stack values uh and rotate this So yeah, I think the pink one, whatever it is, the e-bike is doing very well all like, in all of the months. So that's how you can do, like you can build a complex query. So this complexity involved joins. There are a lot of uh, other things as well, like expressions and stuff, but that will be too much for the introduction or preview of insights. But uh, yeah, mm. so now let's move on to dashboard. I will add this to let's say demo dashboard uh, and then switch to dashboard. Uh, demo. So if you scroll to these are the pre created uh, charts I had, I created them beforehand and the newly added one is here to make this look pretty you can drag and drop and save uh so yes um this so dashboard has like uh, there this is like you can consider this as an incomplete feature right now but uh, there will be a lot in dashboard like filters and uh, uh, user wise dashboard like you should only be able to see your uh, own created dashboard permissions etc uh, what else can I yeah so add there is an option to add a chart and then you can select any of them uh, filters so filters are i would say that it it is kind of 
um, incomplete right now because I am trying to refactor it to make it even more simple. Then there is text you can add uh, markdown text here. Uh, okay. Mm. I think that concludes the demo. Uh, we can take questions after. Yeah, let's go over the summary. Uh, so yeah, insights have a powerful query builder. These are some things that I haven't shown in the demo. That, like you can select, uh, you can write expressions and you get autocomplete on the fly. Uh, if you see the, these are the complex reports we had made in our insights instance. You can check the generated SQL it is like, uh, Mm. and customizable charts like there are a lot of options as you have seen the dashboard the premium dashboard i had shown uh, another unique feature is that you can uh, analyze multiple uh, you can analyze multiple sites data sources databases on one instance so this is an example we are uh, like uh, consolidating all the uh, app installs into our insight, insights instance. Um, so this is done using a query store feature. Uh, basically what it is is a internal database which insights uses where you can save the queries from different data sources and then come uh, uh, then combine them into one. Uh, the dynamic dashboard like uh, you, there will be user wise. There are user wise filters. There is, there is a concept of user wise filters and global filters, like for uh, managers and um, managers. They can use the global filters, set set up dashboards for each employee, and then each employee can mm -hmm. use the user wise filters, etc. Uh, yeah, let's go over to the installation right now. The easiest way to install insights is to use a Fabric Cloud instance, and you will be up in uh, in few minutes. Even if you have like an ERP Next instance uh, running on V14 V14 of ERP Next, then you can install it right away into it, into the site as itself. Uh, so integration with ERP Next um, is also very very easy. Like we made sure to make this part easier. Uh, if you have it on Frappe Cloud, you can just follow the a guide which I have written in the documentation. Uh, it goes step by step what you, what you where you can get the credentials and how you can uh, add the database into uh, uh, insights. Mm, so yeah, status, the current status, uh, Frappe Insights is still in beta right now. Uh, there are a lot of incomplete features, but the but we are using it in our internal analysis uh, uh, as our internal analysis tool. We have a lot of queries, and uh, each department has their own dashboard. It helps with our ISO objectives as well, tracking them. Uh, for example, we have a customer renewal dashboard and this is made for a success manager like you can go to this put in your name select yourself as a success manager and you will see all the upcoming renewals and how much the renewals are done and then what is expected pending months you also get a lot of information like who all are, have joined in the previous months etc uh, so plans, there are a lot, uh, there are a huge list of uh, features. Uh, I, want, I am going to develop. Uh, you can track them on issues. Uh, GitHub issue, GitHub page, your issue tab. Mm, there is, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to go into issues and put them down. Yeah, that's it. That's conclude my presentation.
Thank you, Sakya, for the amazing presentation. Uh, so we'll open the floor for all the questions. Yeah, so we have some questions in the chat. Uh, Sakya, if you can start with them, or uh, others, you all can feel free to unmute yourself and ask the questions. Okay, I will start with the first one from Mochai. Um, this is for a sales order. Let's say you have a child table of multiple rows of taxes for a sales order. It is possible to transport each row into columns. Mm, I'm not sure what uh, uh, what you mean by so transpose is similar to pivot. I, I if I am not wrong, like do you want to uh, perform a pivot operation? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't get your question, Mucha. If you can explain it again, I will move on to next. I went to the SQL query support as in create reports. Yeah, so SQL builder will be there soon. Uh, I'm trying to uh, implement the visual. Uh, SQL builder first because people generally people don't know SQL uh, in our Can we? Third question is from Chandru. Uh, can we inside? Can we install inside with we No, uh, V13 is not supported uh, right now because there are some specific V14 features used for caching and stuff. Uh, support for Postgres, yes, there is a plan. It uses SQL Alchemy, so it is uh, easier. Unlike, I'm, I won't say easier, but it is possible, and we will be getting the Postgres support. So, uh, ERP next user role has any mapping with plugins? Right now, it doesn't. Uh, um, um, I think you are referring to like if a uh, sales user has access to only sales order, then he should be able to only make sales order reports. That is not there yet. Um, first, I want to implement a generic permissions uh, in insights, and then later on, the user rules from ERP next can be migrated into near insights. Are you planning to support SQL server queries? I think SQL server queries, those are also kind of possible because internally it uses SQL alchemy. So I think if there is a dialect for it, then that can be also integrated. Can we connect database from other servers? Yes, you can. Uh, you can connect as many. Right now it only supports MariaDB, MySQL. These are the only two, and SQLite, but that is only used for CSV reports. But right now, this supports two databases. Can I run one multiple dashboards for different users? Uh, I think you mean multiple dashboards specific to multiple users. Are you talking about uh, permissions? I didn't get. Manish asks, uh, we want a package or paid channel partners for ERP next implementation. Mm, I didn't get this question. Uh, learning full fledged more. Sorry, I didn't get this. Is there any heat map element? Right now, there isn't, but uh, it can be. You're done because Frappy charts library has it. Is it possible to query one report from two separate databases? Right now, you can't create, uh, like you can do it, but the, you will have to create two separate queries for each database and then merge them into one. So you can't do it. Uh, is it a must? Okay, go on, Manish. Yeah, 
so we wanted a third party who will help us we are already a user and we want a third party or any other person who will help in uh, integrating the uh, the erp next and also full fledged bom like we are a manufacturer as well as exporter as well as a repacker repacker everything so in that sir hello hi i am nilesh mm-hmm. my colleague so basically we are using a uh, stock entry manufacturing model but that we want to optimize through bom i think this uh, doesn't concern this is not a concern of the pain side i mean can you do that in data analysis tools i didn't get the question again um uh, means uh, this is more of like a erp next implementation problem yeah so for implementation we want your channel partners who can help us personally means by video conferencing or by visiting our office or we meeting them somewhere basically to learn erp at an advanced stage matlab all functions we should understand and implement again i'm sorry but i don't think so this uh i can answer this i i'm not the right person you should be asking this no no i am not asking you sir means can you give, share us some contact number or some link to whom we can contact i mean i hear the you, you have got many channel partners now who are helping others to uh, solve erp issues not issues advanced learning customized learning there is an erp next uh, this public group you can post your queries there i think okay. there might be people where is that public group uh i mean i am just unaware of it uh the frappe insights public group i'll post a link in the chat okay okay no no I'll... the erp next uh, i'll post group. all the links there. yeah Okay, where did I stop? The is it a must to install yeah, insights on same host as ERP Next? No, it is not. Uh, um, you you your ERP Next site can be on different uh, server, and insights can be on different. You just need the credentials to your database. Okay, please show a demo of expression function. So I can, but I think I should uh, write docs for it first. I think then I can forward it for everyone to see. Expressions are kind of complex, so so hmm. I think that concludes. so how to access the database if the credentials of the account is created in frappe cloud i have written a guide uh, i will forward it in the frappe insights public group uh, i might do it here as well but yeah you can follow the guide and install uh, sorry get the credentials of your frappe cloud instance All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We will be sharing the video on YouTube, and we'll post it out as usual. Thanks again.